What's going on everybody? Bree with BK Vending coming back at you with another video. I know it's been a minute since my last video. However, I am back and I am ready to bring you more content. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when I put out new videos. I have a special announcement at the end of the video so you want to watch until the end. I am here at our busiest location and I am restocking three machines today. It is hot in Texas, so you do see me grab my neck fan, which I got from Amazon. I am loading four crates onto the cart, and I normally put them in the order of the machines I am going to. That little black pill case you see is for my Ray-Ban Wayfarer glasses. That is what I'm using to shoot the content that you are watching. I did a review for them in another video. If you haven't checked it out yet, I will link the video in the description. Please forgive me as I am still getting used to the show shooting content in these glasses. Some of my angles and things were off, but you get the picture. So tell me guys, how is your vending business? Um, are you new to vending? Um, have you been in the game for a while? Uh, let me know in the comments. I want to know um, where you guys are in your business. Um, I'm going to be a year this month, so I'm excited about that. So we got this location through a vending locator called Vending Exchange. We did pay for this lead and all we had to do was slow in and seal the deal. Um, we were in competition with some other vendors, however we did prevail in the end. Um, if you are interested in using Vending Exchange, it is free for 30 days. And then you have to pay $40 a month or you can use my referral code. Uh, you'll receive uh, six months free and I will link that in the description for you. So this vending machine is located um, right at the fitness center. Um, there are stairs leading up to the fitness center, so this is more of the healthier options. It also has like the cleft bars, um, the cleft builder bars, um, protein bars, um, things like that as far as um, things that can help them with their workout. Um, the other vending machine we're going to go to here in a little bit is more where the more junk food type um, <laughs> items are. Um, as you can see, um, I am updating the numbers in my MoMA app. I use utilize NIAX credit card readers and I'm going through row by row and updating the accounts in the app. That way I know um, what items are low and what I need to bring back to the location with me.
So I know some of you guys may be wondering why the Gatorades, the waters, and those iconic drinks are sitting upside down. Well, the way I like to think of it is when the skinnier part of the drink is in the coils, they tend not to get stuck. So that's why I place them upside down so it'll be less it'll be less problems with it going through the coils and ever since I've had them that way I've never had an issue with them. Um, also I try to bring all the cold drinks to the front that way uh, customers are not grabbing um, the room temperature water that I'm placing in there so you saw me move the waters around to make sure that they always get a cold drink. The Monsters, Java Bean, and Mocha Loca, and the Celsius sells really, really well at this location. I go to this location twice a week, and every single time I come, majority of the time, the Celsius are sold out. I have three rows of Celsius. Um, the Monsters, sometimes it's, it's sold out, sometimes it's not. It just depends. But most of the time, the Celsius do sell out. Do anybody sell Celsius in your vending machines? Let me know in the comments. Do they sell well for you? Um, is it is it it's a cheaper alternative to Red Bull, and I think it seems, seems like they sell really well for me. I do have Red Bull in some of my locations, but not all of them. Um, but like I said, Celsius seems to be king here at this location. Uh, the combo machine that you see here is a D72010G. It is a five wide snack machine combo machine. They are also widely known as uh, TCNs, uh, which are very popular um, in China. Um, but I, like I said, I've never had an issue with these machines. So I am cool with having um, these machines here. All right, we are all done restocking this machine. We'll go ahead and move to machine numbers two and three. And now these two machines is a full snack machine, full com um, drink machine. Um, they are from Focus Vend. Um, you can find their website at focusvending.com. Um, the drink machine um, is an elevator, so it'll be you'll see that here and momentarily when I get a Gatorade for myself. But it's really really cool. All the vending machines do come with extra storage um, space as well. So if I bring extra something and I don't need it, I normally throw it in there on the shelf. That way if I end up shorting myself somehow, I could just pull from the extra shelves in the vending machine. And it's definitely helped me because sales can happen while I'm on the road. And sometimes when I think I bring enough, I don't bring enough. But I've always been able to pull from 
my extras on the shelf and to where I'm not having to restock it as quick. At this particular location, all the items had to be kosher. Um, so um, there's a, a unique symbol that I have to look for on the items um, in order for me to put them in the vending machine. I try to keep a good variety of items for them at all times. Um, but as of the recording of this video, I did have to pull some of the um, items I had in there because even though they were gluten free, they were not kosher. So I did have to pull um, some of the chips that I had in there and I just took them to other locations where I was selling the same item. I had to pull the Sun Chips Garden Salsa. Um, those were not kosher. I was sad about those because they were selling pretty well in the machine. I also had to pull the um, green Sun Chips as well. The Those green uh, French onion Sun Chips, they were not kosher either. They were waiting for me to finish restocking the machine. I didn't want them to wait, so I just went ahead and closed up the machine so they can go ahead and get what they wanted. But I didn't, did go back to restocking. I did have to get rid of the Ruffles uh, sour cream and onion, the baked ones. Those were not kosher either.
promise I am going to work on the view in these glasses for you guys. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> So my glasses did die um, part of this refill <laughs> of the drink machine. Um, as you saw, I did the Izzy's, I did the Iconic drinks, um, and um, now I've moved to the bottled waters. I know you guys have been waiting for the great news. I now have a promo code for NIAX. If you are looking to get NIAX credit card readers, you can save 7% at checkout with my promo code BKVending. Don't walk, run to their website now. I will leave the link in the description box, uh, that way you can have it there as well. coming along with me to restock our busiest location. If you are wanting me to do specific topics, let me know in the comments and I will queue them up in my next video. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video.